course I promised not to tell anyone, Nola, but I think you're wrong. Now, Gracie, now listen to me. Now listen to me. You have to swear that you're not going to say anything. You have to swear to me. Okay? Because I've, I've thought all this through. And I, I'm, not, I'm not wrong about it. And after that talk that I had with Floyd today, I... I'm just afraid he might win that custody suit. If he did that, I don't know what I'd do. Nola, he might not. Well, you know, even if it doesn't happen, there's just nothing left for me here. So I'm gonna go away, you know, where nobody will find me and where Floyd won't find me and, uh, and just try to get over my feelings about Mr. McCord. Are you gonna tell your family? No. And that's why I want you to come in. I'll keep in touch with you, and I'll let you know, so you can tell everybody that Kelly Louise and I are okay. Nola, look, I just don't want you to make a mistake. Gracie. Now listen, you've gotta help me out on this, okay? You can't tell anybody about it, okay? And I just, I couldn't forgive you if you did that, okay? I just wish there was some other way. And with Davey dead now, I'm counting on you to help me. Now, I was out to Quinn's house this afternoon, and there's no way I can break in there after dark with being, without being torn apart by those dogs. Yeah, but I gotta get my hands on that golden cradle and those other artifacts he's got in there. They're worth a fortune, and I... Of course, I have a plan. And with this plan, Quinn won't even put up a struggle when he hands those artifacts over to me. I'll be able to even a score at the same time. So you listen. What I want from you is a small private plane fueled and ready to go at Springfield Airport. Not a one just big enough for me and one other passenger. Well, perhaps one other passenger and a small baby. I've seen anyone happier than Kelly was when he left us to get on that plane. You could tell this morning when he was here, even though it was only for a few minutes. I can't blame him. I'd like to be going to St. Croix myself. No, you talked to Mr. McCord today? No. Why? Well, I was here when he called Maureen to uh, let her know that this Silas Crocker might be in town, and I called Larry Wyatt of the Springfield Police. Well, I really don't think you had to bother, because I know Silas Crocker didn't get off the island. It and um, he wouldn't come to Springfield anyway, because he's admitted to killing Professor Taylor, and he knows the authorities are looking for him. Well, maybe so, but Larry Wyatt went out to the house yesterday afternoon, and he stopped by my office uh, on the way back. He talked to Mrs. Renfield, and I, I guess he got a description of Mr. Crocker, but when he tried to talk to her about McCord and his association with Crocker... Don't tell me she clammed up, didn't say a word, got frightened. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, well... Mr. McCord and Mrs. Renfield are two very private people. Mr. McCord was always telling me that there were a lot of things that he wanted to say to me and, and never did. You know, maybe that's why he turned away from me. It's because we got too close. than anything in my whole life. I know it's going to be a success that we'll find the sunken barge, the old map, and find the temple of gold. Mr. McCord, how can I ever thank you for letting me be a part of such an adventure? It's like right out of an old movie. for everything, and that's why you took Helen aside, and that's why you and Helena took the diving boat back to St. Croix. So you could be alone together. Well, I just hope you and Helena will be very happy because you deserve each other. And maybe then you'll tell Helena all the secrets that you never told me. Nola, Nola, you are 
was so wrong about it. So many things. And yet I can't explain any of them to you. Mr. McCord, I thought I might find you here. Ah, Mrs. Renfield. When I come back from New York tomorrow, Nola and Kelly Louise's things will be gone, so I thought I'd come in here one last time to see them. I still think there is time to try to persuade Nola to come back here to work, and for her and Kelly Louise to come and live here. Convince her? <laughs> Mrs. Renfield, I can't even get Nola on the telephone. I'm sure she despises me, and I... I can't really blame her. Oh, Mrs. Renfield, we came so close this time, closer than I've ever come in my entire life. And in a way, I shall never forget. I know that I can live with the failure of coming so close to the Temple of Gold only to lose it forever. But I'm not certain, Mrs. Renfield, that I can come so close to Nola only to lose her too. Lovely day. Um, Mom, do you think you could do that? I, I want to finish this here. Well, sure I can, dear, but I thought it'd be good for you. Yeah, I know. I just want to get this done here. What's that? You've been working on it for over an hour. It's notes here. Look, honey, I, I don't want to interfere, but... If that's a letter to Mr. McCord, I think it would be better if you went and talked to him. It's not a letter to Mr. McCord. Besides, uh, he's leaving for New York at 2. It's 2 now. <clears throat> oh, honey, I just can't help feeling sorry for him. I mean, he, he's worked all his life to find this one thing, and then he finds it only to see it destroyed right in front of his eyes. I imagine he was so depressed and upset that, of course, he didn't pay much attention to you. Mom, there's really no point in talking about it anymore. It's just too complicated. Well, all I know is a year ago you kept things to yourself, and a lot of people ended up getting hurt, including you. I don't want to see that happen again, honey. Why don't you go to Mr. McCord and tell him how strongly you feel about him and about what happened between you on that island? so close to having everything that I dreamed of and I lost it. Just like Mr. McCord lost what he searched for, but that meant more to him than I did. Oh, Nola. I wish I could persuade you to change your mind. Mr. McCord is going through such a terrible time of disillusionment. Well, I appreciate what you're trying to do, Mrs. Renfield, but uh, I know more. I know more about this than you do. This house will never seem the same without you and Kelly Louise. Well, it isn't easy. It isn't easy for me to do, you know. I was wondering where the dogs were, because when I drove up in the taxi cab, I, I told the driver not to get out. I didn't see them. Yes, well, Damien and Lucifer ran off today. Fritz is out there now looking for them. I promised to help him after I've helped you pack. I'd rather do that alone, Mrs. Renfield. Very well. I understand. Oh, Nola. I'm going to make a pot of tea. Won't you at least have a cup with me? Um, well, I'll see how much time I have left when I finish packing. Thank you. <laughs> 